It is an honor and privilege to share the Word of God with everyone. As we listen to the Word of God, let us prepare our hearts so that the Holy Spirit will work within us. As the main theme of the program is I Will Go, we will listen about how God has called different people in the Bible and how they have responded to His call. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers. What if God asks you to go and preach about Jesus right now? What if God says to you, Go, share the love of Jesus and be my witness? What will your answer be? Will your response be, I can't. I'm too young. I'm still a child, a teenager. Or will your response be, Speak, Lord. For your servant is listening. Lord, here I am. Send me. When God calls you to work or serve Him, there is no age limit. There is no too young or too old. Samuel was just around five years old when he started to live with Eli the priest and became a prophet to serve God and the people of Israel. Josiah was just eight years old when he became king but loved God and did what was right in the sight of God. Timothy was very young but became a devoted servant of God who later assisted Paul in ministering to the churches. The first person is Prophet Samuel. Samuel was just five years old when Hannah, his mother, brought him to the temple to Eli as promised to God for giving her a child. Samuel was brought to priest Eli so that he would be taught to serve the Lord. The boy Samuel ministered before the Lord under Eli. In those days, the word of the Lord was rare. There were not many visions. First Samuel 3 verses 2 to 15 reads to us, One night, Eli whose eyes were becoming so weak that he could barely see, was lying down in his usual place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the house of the Lord where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel. Samuel answered, Here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. But Eli said, I did not call. Go back and lie down. So he went and lay down. Again, the Lord called Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, called me. My son, Eli said, I did not call. Go back and lie down. Now, Samuel did not yet know the Lord. The word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. A third time, the Lord called, Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down, and if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord came and stood there, calling us at the other times. Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. At the very young age, he heard from God that he was going to be a prophet and judge in Israel. Before Samuel's time, a prophet was called a seer. But Samuel was not just a forecaster of the future, but became a mouthpiece for God. God spoke through him. He became one of the first great prophets and the last judge for the people of Israel. The second person is King Josiah. Josiah became the king of Israel at age 8 after his father's death. One would ask, how can a young boy lead the country? How would he manage all the affairs of the nations? Yes, it would not be possible by himself alone. But with God, all things are possible. Even though his grandfather and father did so many evil deeds by worshipping foreign gods, and even sacrificing young children as a religious practice? Josiah was not like them. 
In Second Chronicles 34 verse 3 says, In the eighth year of his reign, the scriptures record that he began to seek the Lord. In his seeking, he set about restoring the house of the Lord. The workers found the lost and forgotten Torah. When it was brought to Josiah's attention, and the words read aloud, he wept, tore his clothes, and grieved deeply for the ways he and his people had turned away from the Lord. He sought the counsel of the Lord through Helda the prophetess, and she encouraged him with the Lord's words of blessing. After that, Josiah led the people in a Passover celebration to rival all Passovers. There was a great revival, and for the rest of Josiah's reign, the people of Judah sought the Lord. All of these are written in Second Chronicles 34 and 35. The last person is young Timothy. Even though we may be young, we can prepare ourselves for the ministry of God just like young Timothy. Timothy's father was a Greek and his mother was a Jew. But yet, Timothy memorized whole passages from the scriptures. His mother and grandmother, Eunice and Louis, took the instructions in Deuteronomy 6 verses 6 to 8 very seriously, which says, And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk to them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down and when you rise up. You shall blind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontless between your eyes. Gradually, Timothy developed into a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Even Paul loved Timothy as his own son and wrote two letters of instruction especially for him. True to his reputation, Timothy's character so impressed Paul that he chose to take him on many of his future missions. In fact, Timothy became his right-hand man carrying messages to churches and individuals and ministering to churches where needed. In conclusion, too many kids buy into the idea that you have to grow up and become an adult before you can really do anything big for God. This is not true. The Bible is full of great examples of young people who made a huge difference in the world when they put their faith in God. But throughout the story of Samuel, Josiah, and Timothy, and much more in the Bible, the children can learn that they are never too young to be an example for all believers. Just like Samuel, we can accept the calling of God. Like Josiah, we can do even greater things than adults. And like young Timothy, we can prepare ourselves at a young age in preparation for the ministry of Lord our Savior. Being young may seem impossible to serve God or do great things for Him. But we shall remember what Jesus said in Matthew 19 verse 26. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And when God calls us to go, to lead, to serve, to witness, and be good examples, always remember Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You're never too young to be used mightily for the Lord. With God, nothing is impossible. Friends, never refuse the calling and always say, Here I am. Send me. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for loving us and caring for us. We thank you for the characters in the Bible, such as Samuel, Josiah, and Timothy which remind us that even though we are young, great things can be done when you are with us. May we look up to you and respond to your calling with yes. Here I am, Lord. Use me. Send me. Amen.